Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about take view control in our QtQML application. Also we will see how to use this basic property and how to implement this take view in our application. Also we will see how to add the multiple QML files or how to add the multiple pages in our take view control. So let's start. So first of all import the QtQ control and import the QtQ layout. Okay, now let's create this take view control. Set the ID my take view. We have to set the width and height property for our control. So let's set the anchor property and set the same width and height property as our parent. Okay, now here we have to initialize a specific page for the take view control. So first of all, let's add the some pages for our take view control. So simply add the add new item, select Qt and in that uh, option select the QML file. Okay, now let's assign the uh, file name page 1. Okay, now finish. So you can see the page 1 is added successfully. Now let's also add two more, pa more pages. Page 2 and finish. let's add last page and this is the third one so pages are added successfully okay so just also import equity quick control in that uh, pages and layout also so let me just i just simply copy that two lines and paste in our other pages okay now here we have to assign the initialize page initialize item is page one dot qml okay so this is the page one let's change here rectangle as well okay here we have to define the uh, width and height property also like uh, other controls so let's set the width is a 200 and also set the height is uh, also 200 now let's submit control in that uh, rectangle so let i create the column layout and add the text property okay so my text one okay and this is page one okay also set the spacing between two controls so let's set a 20 and display the our uh, rectangle uh, column layout in our parent Now let's create here some button control to navigate to one page to another page. Okay, so apply here some text, or before the text, let's set the ID my button one. Now let's set here go to page two. Now create the on click event. So now here we have to move to take view page two. Okay, so push the uh, page 2 okay page 2 dot qml okay now let's create the uh, same things for go to page 3 okay and this is the page 3 okay this is the first page also assign you can also set the color property so let's set the color property basic ryb red yellow blue red yellow green blue okay text property for rectangle not for column layout okay so page one is ready now let's create the page two so let me copy this code for page two okay here let me change the uh, color and same thing we develop the uh, column layout instead of column layout we set the anchor property fill parent also we set the spacing between two controls so set it is a 20 now let's set the text property here so my text 2 text 1 and this is uh, second page second page okay 
now let's create the uh, button control to navigate for uh, go to page 3 or uh, go to page 1 okay so here let's text set the id my button 1 set the text property here so here let's set the go to page 1 okay now let's create the on click event so here we use the uh, take view dot pop function okay and when we have to go for page 3 okay go go to page 3 okay so here we use the uh, push function okay and provide the our url page 3 dot qml so page 2 is also ready now let's create the uh, page 3 change the uh, rectangle as item also set the uh, width and height property width is 200 height is also 200 set the uh, color property for page 3 so set the uh, blue color okay now let's create the uh, column layout set the anchor property anchor dot fill as it is parent Set the spacing between two controls is 20. Now let's create the text property. So my text one. Here we have to write this some text like this is a page three. This is page three. Okay. Now let's create the button to navigate the our between the pages. Okay. So set the ID my. Set the text property. Go to page one. Create the on click event. So take view dot pop. Okay, and for go to page to one directly. Page here is a page to one. Okay, so here we have to provide the number of pages we want to pop now here we use the uh, nothing and set here uh, go to page 2 let's set the uh, some font property here font dot point size is a uh, 20 for both text second page and this is the first page okay now let's run the application and check it this is the third page okay and this is the second this is page first page first page okay similar text now let's run the application and check it So you can see so let's move the page 2 this is a page 2 and this is the go to page 3 okay now go to page 1 there is a error wait so stake view is not defined okay is a mistake so here we have to define the name my stake okay now let's run the application and check it again sorry for this mistake and here we have to provide the proper object name okay control name so go to page 2 go to page 3 and go to page 1 this is the second page and this is the third page okay here we have to change the name also okay this is the go to page 2 and go to page 3 okay now go to page 1 so here we have to provide the uh, change to this way okay now here we also like do add to page 2 when we click on the page 3 because whenever we move to directly page 3 or if i want to back to page 2 then here we have to uh, add a page 2 uh, page 2 must be available in stake view okay so now let's run the application and check it 
so now directly go to a page 3 so you can see that we move into page 3 and now let's go back to page 1 so you can see now let's go to page 2 then page 3 then page 1 back to page 1 so you can see now let's go to directly page 3 and now let's go back to a page 2 so you can see this is the second page okay so this is the stake you control where you can navigate between the two pages or add the uh, some controls between your uh, stake pages so please drop your comment if you have any questions about stake you control in our qtql application and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you